Malaria is caused by a parasite, a tiny single-celled organism in the blood vessels and livers of human beings. It's a serious disease that disables and kills an estimated 660,000 people every year. Though half of the world's population's lives are at risk of malaria, 90% of all malaria deaths occur in Africa. Despite medical advances, the disease continues to be a problem. It is estimated that every 60 seconds, a child under the age of five dies from malaria in Africa. But there is hope that one day, malaria will no longer burden the people of Africa. Angela and Regina both have daughters infected with malaria. These mothers have come to the Shampandi Clinic in southern Zambia to receive medication. Supplying effective drugs within Africa is a challenge. Regina and Angela desperately hope to find treatments for their suffering daughters. Most patients who have malaria or think they have malaria or their children might have malaria might live quite a distance from where anti-malarials are actually found, whether they are given away free, as in health posts, most health posts, or they're sold in pharmacies or other distribution posts. The closer you are to a health center or a health post, the closer you are to a pharmacy of any kind, the more likely you are to get good access. One of the biggest problems in Africa is lack of health education, which can lead to a lack of malaria diagnosis and treatment. Every year, the continent loses an estimated $12 billion in gross domestic product due directly to the disease. It's not just enough to provide drugs. I think it's very important to ensure that the drugs get to the patients wherever they are, especially those that are in very remote villages in the countryside. And this is where the capacity building efforts are so important. This includes training educational healthcare workers on malaria diagnosis and treatment and providing the technology such as SMS for Life to avoid stockouts. With inconsistent availability of treatments, mothers like Regina and Angela can only wait and hope for the arrival of effective drugs for their daughters. <laughs> Through the continuing efforts of people on four continents, some patients are lucky. Mothers Angela and Regina finally receive much needed treatments for their daughters.